we can't sit at home waiting for news about adoptions. Oh, what? We're never going to find a kid. They go so quickly. It's this is you. What? You took too long again. Yeah, but it's difficult choosing a child from a photograph, isn't it? You want to get in there, kick the tyres a little bit. I mean. yeah. Are you set on a girl? Girls tell you what they're feeling. They know how to ask for help. You just sit on the sofa, hugging a cushion, sighing louder and louder until someone asks you <laughs> what's wrong. Boys are uncomplicated. You all right, then? Yeah. Yeah. I'm Sari Cohen with Hollywood First Look. We're here today with Rafe Spall and Esther Smith, stars of Apple TV Plus's Trying. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's such a pleasure. Thank you for having us. So I want to go back to the beginning. Take me back to when the two of you first auditioned for the show. What was it like when you read together? Did you feel that chemistry instantly? Yeah, we did. We, you, you know what? I actually, we, we, we decided that we were going to hire a room in this place called the Spotlight, which is this place in London where you go for auditions and stuff. And if you're an actor, you can like hire a room to make a self tape and stuff. So we hired a room and um, went over the scenes and um, more than that, just really got on as people. Like we really had fun. We really liked each other. And just let the record know that Esther Smith still owes me for that room because I paid for it. <laughs> And there's been and there's been no attempts to pay me back for it. You said it was a present. You were like, my. It gift. wasn't a present. It wasn't a present. At rap, you were you like, know. that's the present. That is thirty English pounds that you owe me. So when I finish this call, I'm going to send you my bank details. Give you this plant. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Esther, this one is for you. You know, this show is is equal parts hilarity and heartbreak. I'm wondering, as an actor, how do you find that balance? I I love it. I love it. It's such a gift to be able to do that, to be able to be in a project to do both and have the freedom to, you know, yeah, yeah kind of do that comedy. But also, I'm so aware that it's a show that it's based in a lot of people's reality. So you want to bring the truth to that and you can't help but be moved by certain things, by certain topics that we are covering because you can't help but put yourself in these people's shoes and what that must be like. And because essentially the adoption process is, is a lot of people, you know, asking you to prove your worth and rooting around in, you know, in your underwear drawer, essentially, just trying to look at all your private bits and to see if you can, if you can be, a, a parent and there's a lot of having to yeah just prove yourself which is hard and heartbreaking and then when you go through the process of trying to be matched with a child you essentially find children it could be many children that you fall in love with and then you're kind of could be repeatedly told no that's that, that's not going to work out and what would you say is most relatable about your character i think that uh, he's a flawed fallible human being and Every human being is flawed and fallible. Um, and he's also a good guy. Objectively, he's a good guy. And uh, he's trying to do the right thing. And everyone watching this show will identify with that. Because if there's one thing these last 15 months has thrown up, is that most people are good. When the chips are down, most people want to help. They want to come together for a common cause. Um, and they want to um, aid people in whatever way they can. And this is a celebration of good people. You know, she's um, really trying hard to show that she's this adult and grown up. And I feel like in season two, she really steps into that role because she kind of has to. And she learns a lot about, you know, the heartbreak and failure, but also res she's resilient. And I think I'd like, yeah, just to see that carry on. What do you think is the biggest takeaway that everyone of every age can identify with? I think um, that the title of the show is Trying. And I think that works in many different ways. And I think that most people watching probably fall short of their own expectations and standards every now and again. I'm sure that we all make mistakes. I'm sure that we do things that we're not proud of. And I'm sure that um, we, uh, we can be quite down on ourselves sometimes. But most people carry on trying to be good. 
trying to do the right thing, trying to improve, trying to figure it out, trying to fill a hole, whatever it is. I know that's how I feel in my life. And I think that that's uh, how most of the people watching the show will feel. And I think that's very relatable. Everyone, make sure you check out Trying. It airs Fridays on Apple TV+. Plus. I'm Sari Cohen. See you next time. Just don't let them be fussy eaters. My friend Clayton only ate toast until he was 12, and now he's really into S&M. Has this helped? Massively. You don't know what if it changes things? Whatever happens, we'll be messing things up together. We don't want a meet at this stage. It can jeopardise the adoption. Just pretend you're visiting the school and professional business. If we're being other people, should we do accents? I can do American. Really? Well, hey, dear partner. I'm going to stop you right there. It's absolutely perfect. <laughs>